हाई एवरी वन आई एम नेहा सो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट प्रिंसिपल नंबर थ्री ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री प्रिंसिपल नंबर थ्री विच इज लेस हिजार्डस केमिकल सिंथेसिस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव कवर्ड ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री प्रिंसिपल नंबर वन विच वॉज प्रिवेंशन प्रिंसिपल नंबर टू विच वॉज एटम इकोनॉमी एंड नाउ टूडे विल कैरी ऑन विद प्रिंसिपल नंबर थ्री and that directly mean that in the coming videos i am going to cover all of the green chemistry principle till 12 right so let us quickly start with what is this third principle all about they say that where a practicable synthetic roots should be designed in such a way that it generates and uses substances that poses no or little toxicity to human health and the environment so they basically says that if you are going to design some kind of process let's say you have some reagent and that you want to convert into a product so whatever method you select to convert this uh, into product to prepare this particular product you are designing a method so in that case you have to make sure that this method is having very uh, involving very less toxic material the overall method is less toxic to human health and environment uh, let's a simple say example hai agar aap ise prepare kar rahe hain aapke paas do teen methods honge right by which you can prepare the same product let's say you have one method free radical polymerization let's say anionic polymerization maybe some other addition reaction maybe some kind of substitution reaction or maybe some kind of rearrangement is possible so there are lot many methods to prepare a single product you have to select that pro uh, method which is less toxic less hazardous the hazards are very less in that particular synthesis let's see the examples let's say uh, one is a phosgene process where uh, a polycarbonate has to be prepared now in polycarbonate phosgene is not used now this process is not green and it's not following the principle number 3 why because here the phosgene is highly toxic and corrosive it requires large amount of methylene chloride and the polycarbonate is contaminated with that chlorine also so this is not a green process now what you can do is you change the process the entire process is changed to solid state process i'm not going to go in the details of the mechanism of all reactions as of now my aim today is just to revise green chemistry principle number 3 for you in brief so let us go quickly with what happened here is green first of all the phenyl carbonate the polycarbonate which is prepared is synthesized without phosgene so first you have removed one toxic material then there is no use of methylene chloride that also is toxic and obviously the polycarbonate is not uh, contaminated with chlorine so it's a higher quality product so this is how by changing the method you changed the overall uh, process to green The second example is acetanilide synthesis. Now, if I have to make acetanilide, that means benzene NH3CH3. So, I want this CH3 group here, and for that acetylation, I have many reagents uh, available like acetic anhydride. acetic acid acetyl chloride etc now the conventional process use acetic anhydride and in that process they use pyridine and methylene chloride again needless to say they are non green compounds then in this reaction when you prepare nhcoco3 that is acetanilide there is one more mole of acetic acid which is released so that is a waste that is a by product so if you go by atom economy also as we have seen in the last video your desired product is but you are getting by product so this is not desirable one mole is wasted so atom economy also is not followed now what we do in green process is we don't use acetic anhydride so we are not wasting one uh, molecule of acetic acetate here secondly we are not using these compounds rather we are using zinc dust as a catalyst and we simply have to boil them together to make the acetanilide in fact i have made a separate video of green process of acetanilide you can see in think and you just go there and see how beautiful crystals white crystals of acetanilide are prepared using green synthesis and how we get more yield i have shown both of the processes there the acetanilide preparation using this process and this process go and watch that's an interesting video okay so with this i think you are able to understand now coming to the third one let's say one more example if we consider nitrophenol synthesis is there so in the conventional process 
obviously it's electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction so in this conventional process first uh, to get that nitro compound and all we use a non green compound which is sulfuric acid right but when you go with the green process uh, no sulfuric acid is used in solid state catalyst is used and you get your compound so that's a green process coming uh, with the fourth one is bromination of acetonilide so acetonilide is this nhcoch3 you want to substitute one bromine you want para bromo acetonilide so in the conventional process we use liquid bromine now obviously we know that liquid bromine is no non green compound right so in the green process what we can do is we can use ceric ammonium nitrate and we can get our uh, bromine compound uh, that's it so uh, no i'll not go with the fourth principle today that's all for uh, the video if you have liked the explanation and you can remember the principle now please hit on like that will give me motivation and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe for more such videos thank you so much